Oh, hi. Tech Rabbit here again. Um, we're going to um, look at another tool that I got for to add to the collection. This is a Parkside pencil. Um, it's a brand carried by um, a chain of um, supermarkets called Lidl. And um, they're, they're, they sometimes have these in stock and sometimes not. They use them as a, a like a product to attract more customers to the store. So I picked up one. Usually you can pick up one of these for around a hundred dollars or a tool, uh, tool package or a ah, machine package. Anyway, let's see how this works. It's quite a large package so I have a bit of a problem framing it in. Like you see, framing it into the camera in a reasonable way. But um, we'll do it. Do the best we can. Let's get the parts out first. So I intend to do the like unboxing, assembly, and then a short test of how it works. And then uh, uh, I'll use it for a while. And if there's anything worth following up, then I will um, make a follow-up video. So let's get down to it. It's quite well framed. This is the saw blade hole. Oh, but that was just the corner. Corner of that packing, so that shouldn't be a problem. Let's see now if I 
Look this up. No, I'll go slow. Yeah, you go back to sleep. Yeah. Try not to make so much noise. When you want to help me. Yeah. I don't think there's going to be much of assembly in this thing. I'll have to look at the instructions and see, but I think it's probably just the table. Maybe something else. Oh, that's how that looks. Oh, packing got a bit crumbled at the end. Okay, so I'll just check the manual and see what we, what, how we need to assemble this. Yeah, so I spent some time reading the manual and, um, yeah. Oh, by the way, it's got a quite a nice set of small tools to do most of the stuff in this thing. This one has quite nicely with pictures and large big breakdown diagrams and stuff. Now the only complaint I have about this instruction is that it isn't, uh, it isn't 100 percent clear what what of the procedures um, are recommended or needed for when you're doing the startup. starting the equipment basically it talks about installing the um, that's a bit unclear the table needs to be installed and then it has a big section about attachments and then it has all the different procedures about all the different points you can adjust in a um, bandsaw and it's a bit unclear exactly what procedures need to be executed when it's been taken out of the box. But I will assume that this is a consumer grade piece of equipment, so I'm assuming that most of the adjustments are probably already done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the table in and then I'm going to check, which is very important for band source, the uh, tensioning of the saw band, which is this, follow that section of the instruction. And then there's all, the rest of it is um, for adjusting the wheels and, and, and stuff, so. I can, I don't know, but usually they don't need to be adjusted that often. So I don't know if anybody would be interested in having that enough. Anyway, add to the comments if you'd like me to go through any of the, yeah, these additional settings it has. But I think for most uses it's not really need. But anyway, we'll start with the table install. Let's see. If, so now we need to just do these. That's the first step. Yep, it's well the 
jag så då. Det är screwed on. So, so that's done. And then it was to check the solar blade tensioning. And um, for that I will adjust the camera. So for this part we need to use the screwdriver and then we open bottom camera and then they recommend looking at the um, these two guiding guiding rings that, that down there are guiding and then here one should try to see if it um, if you press on it lightly but it doesn't it doesn't um, move more than one or two millimeters and that seems to be actually okay. I will say that the tensioning is all right. And, um, and now I think what we will do is I'll have to. We'll take a, a look at the whole, the, the whole route the sole band blade takes. So I'm just open up. seems to be okay. It's not jamming up anywhere at least. And the guidance things look pretty okay. So I would say that safety. And then there's nothing broken or, or there's no scrap anywhere. So, so I think that we could probably say that's, that's checked. It doesn't adjust anything. It's, Good to open these covers just to see if there's any broken parts or crap in there. Oh, no, I don't think we can. So, table's in place, blade on um, tension has been um, checked, and now I think I can put this back. I don't think there's any need to take the, uh, take the blade out. Edit. 
it out trying to get the trying to get the uh, screw threaded. I think it has its own communicator by Like there's some plastic cord in there. No, oh, it's all plastic crap. It's not the, it's not how that one's all. Got into the thread. That's oh, that was strange. Okay, now it's cleaned up. Oh, there was a bit of this black plastic seemed to go in. And it's definitely not to create to jam it in. I don't think. Okay, now it's out. Here, oops, not too much. I screw it too much. This is a plastic canvas. Okay, that's a bit. I need to make sure this is straight. Just need to get my measure. Let's go 
measure from the back of the table. Show to the other We do a oh wait it was this one should look up what that is for that seems to be tight okay time to dry run it. let's see yeah and then this thing yeah. I think I showed this already, you can adjust the level of the, um, of the blade guide. Let's put it like, just thinking of testing this. video if you, if 
found interesting, consider subscribing on the channel. Hit the bell if you want to get notifications for new videos. From time to time I post videos about um, new tools I get, and otherwise it's about projects that I make or things that I find. So anyway, well, see you in the next one.